on Flower Bluff, taking a ride on Yorktown, going to the library there from pretty much Flower Bluff. It's a little bit of a ways, going back, back into the city, I guess, away from the coast. I really, I need to move somewhat fast to get away from the moisture all this moisture I think I got to throw away another another t-shirt it's pretty bad it doesn't look bad but it smells bad I don't think I can get the mold smell out once mold establishes itself it's like in the fibers it's a part of the fibers Whew. I'm sweating it's so hot this camera might overheat luckily it's not directly in any sun so they got that going for it Ooh. oh a jeep guy waved to another jeep guy yeah and i didn't want to get on the highway that's an alternative route apparently one on this route the road is closed so we'll see how that works out okay three miles all right, thanks. Uh, today's supposed to get up to 75, and then after today, the next few days will be in the 60s. Jeez, just too hot. Can't stand it. Today's Saturday. Libraries. This library is open. There's really nothing else. I, I don't know what else I can really look at. I, I, got a, I got a bad bicycle. I don't know when that gear is going to go. I got to say, my, my, right foot can, my right foot has uh, really been hurting a lot. Feels like it's squeezed all the time. So annoying. 45? Okay. Road closed ahead. Uh oh. expect here public zoning change they're not given any alternative routes here's here's the the road repair equipment sand little sand mounds I'm guessing it's some kind of a gopher it's digging up a white sand a yellow white sand pretty quick frequently I think my shoe might be too tight it's so annoying maybe my foot is swelling Yeah, there's some swelling. That guy 
signs all over the road. Looks like a pretty busy highway up ahead. Looks like this is all the NAS Naval Air Station. Yeah, U.S. government property. Bolt. construction though I might have to turn sooner 45 the road is so bad People parked here for fishing. start at Port, uh, Port Isabel as, just as soon as I got within like I don't know maybe a hundred feet a hundred miles of, of the Gulf they're digging a hole or something that's that tall that tall structure is doesn't look like a crane 
looks, yeah, it looks like it's a well digger for some very deep, deep digging, 100 feet at least. Oh, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Ay! Just endure this this heavy moisture. Turn right at the traffic light. It, it's, I mean, I got I got acne and engines slipping and electrical tripping out and mold collecting on my clothes. It's it's pretty pretty bad. Okay, what is it, a left? Lipes? Turn left on Lipes Boulevard. Oh, here we go. All right, making that turn. All right, right on Brockhampton. Turn right on Brockhampton Street. Okay, nobody behind. Okay, so this uh, GPS is not always accurate. I need to start paying attention now about where the library could be. I recognize the address, uh, same as on Google. So if this is wrong, Google is wrong too. So it's, oh, 0.1 miles, huh? There it is. Oh, I passed it a little bit. Oh, oh, I'm getting in the opposite lane. Is that right? Arriving at Dr. Claudio P. Garcia Public Library on the left. On the left. I don't know, maybe here. Rugby is here. No charge. Okay, there we are. All right, I woke up with wax blockage in my left ear. I do have that bulb that I could squeeze water into it. I want to warm up water, figure out how to do this. There's that filtered water I could buy at Walmart. I could do that, warm up some water. <laughs> I'd be the first to do it in, the parking, in a Walmart parking lot. 
Try to clean up this ear. So I walked into Walmart and bought a 29 cent uh, 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 container of water. And the, and the lady like asked me, as I was walking away, she had to get my attention. She's like, hey, sir, did you buy a bottle of water? I'm like, yep. And that was it. I turned around and walked out. I, I, and I had a hard time hearing her, but I did hear her. So I, I heated up some water. I'm heating up water now for a tea. I heated up some water f for this, not to boiling. Mixed it with the warm water. And since this is in the early stages, I I, I seem to dislodge the the wax on the on the f second try. Well. It's it's out. I can hear it. a big glob came out. So that's that's it. I just did the left ear with just a, an amount, and I still have some left over of warm water. And so I'm just gonna stop there, and if the problem comes back, I'll just have to tackle it again. So red raspberries and yogurt seem to go pretty good together. All right. In my experience with green tea, I find that you ha if you have it on an empty stomach, you're screwed. If you have it with dried foods, you're screwed. You got to have green tea with liquid foods uh, so that it just doesn't touch your the lining of your stomach directly in any way. And then green tea can be enjoyed because it is caustic. It makes my stomach upset by itself. But with food, no problems. This is what I need to live in during the summertime down south. Just need good airflow. I heard a lot of screaming and an announcer uh, and whistles. It sounded over here on the other side like there was a game and a fairground running at the same time. I kind of want to take a look, closer look at this from the Walmart. Look at this grass. This is weird. It's some kind of a broad leaf <clears throat> growing as a part of the grass. All in this pit. Not up, uh, not up higher though. So I guess, oh no, there's, there is some, it's more sparse. It, it might have something to do with flooding. It's so, uh, it might be on the, the New Life Church, which hosts a go-kart track and some weird orb. Or maybe it's not a part of the church, it's just border to it. I don't know. It is a sight to behold. I could maybe fly it. Mm. I was thinking I wanted to find a place to fly the drone, but I'm so close to the NAS, the Navy Aerospace Center or something. And also a little small, I'm right in between a little, uh, the NAS and uh, a small airport. And I was getting warnings um, uh, three miles away about getting too close. So, being right in between, might, these are, what are these race tires in the go-kart track? Maybe those tires are used as, uh, yeah, as bumpers, old worn out race tires. <clears throat> so there's no access. Oh, the orb is a part of the, is a part of, I don't know if people could see me. A part of the go-kart track I'm just kind of wandering back here I don't know how how secure it's supposed to be there's definitely some stray cats yeah there's a lot going on over here but they're not regulating parking in the Walmart parking lot if this was Meridian Idaho they would have put signs all over saying no overnight parking next to this uh, fun grounds because and that was a water there was a water park across the street from the Walmart in Meridian Idaho and they were and the cops gave me a ticket for parking 
uh, across the street. I was in the Lowe's parking lot right next to the Walmart. And they gave me a ticket because they were uh, protecting their fun grounds. This is kind of a similar situation. But it's not a water park and it's open year round. That water park was even closed. Yet they were, the cops were still enforcing... Oh man, mosquitoes still enforcing our stupid rule. Their law sending me to court, tying me up with the court.